Hello and welcome. Today we go with printf function in C actions in MinCC V7. This subject is a comment from my YouTube video on YouTube from the last videos about the C actions. Printf function is the main function in WinCC and C language to display something on runtime. We can use this if you want to display the string values, decimal, floating points or something else. This function is simple but it's powerful. We can use some main identifiers types for these elements. We can use the person %d, person %x, u, s and c and you have the arguments convert to decimal, the hex, unsigned decimal form, strings and characters. We can go later with examples, so I will show you step by step how to use each of these identifiers types. On this list we have also the special characters for this printf function, we can use the new line, tabulation, reversing, returns, new page, apostrophe and some other. We can, for example, display string and we can make also new line with one printf functions. Let's go to examples. We have our WinCC v7 explorer, we have new window and we put application window. We need to have this to display our printf in runtime. So we know that our printf function is working correctly. After this I put the button. First button will be for showing you how to use the printf function and how to use the GSC diagnostics window. Let's put to C action and let's make just the printf function with the some string. Hello my world. This is a simple string I always use in languages like C, C sharp or something. And we can make the save and we can run our script. After we click, we have our text. We have hello my world. After many clicks, we have a lot of these elements on our screen. We can use also the special character. We have slash n and this element will make for us the new line, as you see on screen. We have also possibility to add some error apostrophes or something. We, you can mix this and you can find your way how to use these special characters inside your printf functions, but generally you can mix this any way you want. So. Just keep trying and uh, sh show your script in the comments. The second way how to use the printf function is to display the numbers during the runtime. Let's make the next button so we don't lose our string there and let's create some floating point number from the last C actions video we know how to use these elements if you didn't watch this go back and uh, see again how to use the floating decimal numbers inside WinCC okay we created the floating point AA and I assigned the number into this 
variable. After this, we can display this element in printf functions. So, we have the static text, my AA is, and after this, I put the percent %f. This element is special identifiers for where to put my AA value into this printf function. So, inside this percent %f, we put our AA value. The next example is how to make the two digits after dot. So we have the 3.59. Now we can put also the special character in the new line. So after we click the printf, we have new line every time. Next example is how to display this floating point variable inside six digits. So we have the person 06.2 and floating point so f. So if our number is not so big, we have 003.59. So, we can make the nice transferring our data into printf function. Let's go to another example. Let's display our number in decimal points. So, we have the May AA is percent %d and after we put the AA and we will see how our number is displaying in decimal. Ok, we don't have error, so we can go to runtime and see our result. Ok, uh, our floating point in decimal is not so nice, so let's change our AA to something else to display our value inside WinCC runtime, so we know how it's working correctly. Ok, I created integer value, the BB, and after BB is 10. Ok, I have a small error, need to move my float AA into higher level. Ok, so my BB is 10, so after we display this in runtime, we should have also the 10 in our GSC Diagnostic. So we have the May AA is 3.59 and my BB is 10. We can use also the same with hex. So we use the same decimal but we will display this in hex. So my BB is 10 in decimal but also my BB is B in hexadecimal. No, no B, A. Let's change the value. So now my BB is 11 and my BB in hexadecimal is B. Ok, let's go to next examples. In this examples we go with strings and characters. Let's create the one string variable. Into this variable we put some text. Ok, let's go to WinCC runtime and we will see how our string is running. Okay, 
system is displaying our string hello my string is and this big string is just the te test but let's make the next string value it's for example blah 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 and after this we can go to print this and we see that our hello my string is blah 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 we can move also with this elements but using the person c so person c is displaying only one character from our string as you see this value is not so good but let's choose one of our table so let's take third character from the string and after we know it's b thank you thank you for watching if you have any questions regarding the printf function leave the comments below and uh, if you don't like this also give me in the comments i want to know this i use the c programming language by brian w kernigan is the best book for this c language and of course i invite you to myscadaword.com where you can join my mailing list see you